Hi, welcome back to Coffee Drone. So today I wanted to do a quick update. I promised I would keep you updated on this. I want to do them every month or so on how I'm getting on with this because the proof's in the pudding of how much you fly at this. So I've got on really, really well with it. I've had no issues whatsoever. But I wanted to address a couple of issues that people have been commenting on on the video saying the firmware, you can't update it. How do you connect it to Companion? And the other one saying, have, why don't I say I've not got any jitter on my sticks. The simple fact is I haven't got any jitter on my sticks. And I'm going to show you why I don't have jitter on my sticks. So I'm just going to turn the transmitter on. So if you notice mine now sounds differently, but I'll explain that to you in a bit. So, let's just turn the switches off. I've just been flying. So the reason I don't have any, any jitter in my sticks is the fact that I calibrated my sticks when I got it. You must calibrate sticks. I should have mentioned that on the first video I did, but I didn't. I have to calibrate mine anyway, but I do it as a matter of course regularly anyway. If you go into system, hold the button down, page across until you get to calibration, click that, and that's going to give you this screen. Now, I hope you can see that. You can see how when my sticks are moving against the crosshairs. If you've got jitter, when you're flying, you will see the jitter here. And I can guarantee, if you haven't calibrated the sticks, you're probably going to have it. Because out of the box, this was miles out, you must do the calibration. You must do the calibration on the sliders and everything. You must do them all. So you see mine are smooth. When I first got mine, this one would get to there and then jump straight to the bottom. And similarly, this stick would do, when I had it in the centre and I start to go across, it would just now jump right to the end. And if you're flying, you're going to feel that. If you're flying an RC helicopter, you're going to be in trouble if that happens to you. So that's why I have no jitter. I can't, I can't comment on everybody's, but I can guarantee that a lot of people are suffering that if they haven't calibrated the sticks, that's what's going to cause an issue. You must calibrate sticks, that's why the function's there. I calibrated mine because I converted it, but even if you haven't, if you've just bought this mode 2 when you fly mode 2, you must calibrate sticks when you first get it because the chances of them calibrating it at the factory is slim to nothing. They'll just bang the, pot, bang the pots in and hope for, sorry not the pots, this is, yeah this has got pots, so they'll just bang the pots in and hope for the best, but I can guarantee they're going to be miles out. But the other thing is, obviously people are saying that they can't, you can't update the firmware because there's nothing for it on Companion. You don't need to. I'm going to show you a little. Let me just show you how you get into the mode first to update the firmware. So you download the firmware from Jumper's website and you simply put it onto your SD card. I'm going to show you in a minute in a video that I'm going to insert where you get it from. And all you do is get that and put it and put it into the memory card that's inside here. You don't need to connect this to the computer at all. Click the memory card out, put it in your computer. So holding these two buttons, these two trim functions in, and pressing the power switch will take you into the bootloader. And that's where it has right firmware. If you put your new firmware on this card, it will write the firmware to this. It's as simple as that. That's all you need to do. There's nothing fancy about it, nothing technical. That's the only thing you need to do, and then come back in. The other thing, if you've noticed, is mine's got a totally different sound pack on. Because mine says open TX again. That's because I put the Amber Sound Pack on. You can download that from the internet, put the Amber Sound Pack on exactly the same way, copy it to your sound folder. It's exactly the same. So I'm going to leave you, I'm going to cut out to the video of me showing you where the website is and where you can download it from. I'll be back in a second. You see it in the top here, it's Jumper and the company the Jumper made by is XYZ forward slash T16. And this is going to take you to this page which is going to give you an overview of the radio and where to buy it and think. You need to go to Downloads. Click on Downloads and then it will select you select Jumper T12, T16 and all the rest. Click on that and here is the latest update. Now this update is the one I mentioned earlier. It's improved the scroll wheel. You click on Jumper. Click on that one. Sorry. You click on that one. And then it's going to open this, and that's the bin file you want. You download it, 
And all you need to then do is copy that to the memory card. Do not, you don't need to connect your transmitter to the internet. Take the memory card out, stick it in your computer, copy that to the firmware folder, and then when you turn it on the way I showed you earlier, it's going to allow you to update your firmware. It's as simple as that. No hassle, no messing around. And to put sounds on exactly the same, if you want to download Amber like I did, go download Amber from... Um, I can't remember where I got it from. If you just put in Amber Sound Pack, it'll find it and just drop that in the sound folder. It'll ask you if you want to copy over what's in there. Click yes and you've got Amber on the machine. So, hope this helps. Okay, so you've seen where you get it from and that's how easy it is to update the firmware on this thing. So, I've got six, seven, I've got eight models I think on this now, actually, eight. I've got some planes. And I haven't put on this in the heli, I've been, and, some, and obviously quite a few quads. I've had absolutely zero issue with range, zero issue with compatibility and everything works exactly as it should, as it should do. One more thing that I forgot to mention actually, someone's always, always also mentioned this to me, they can't get it to bind to Flysky. So let me just show you that. So we'll go back into the model. Uh, I'll just go down here, I'm not going to bind it to it, but if we go down to model Right, I've already, this is, luckily this is already on a fly sky. Do not select fly F sky from here, select F32A. If you select fly sky, it will not bind to the modern receivers. They're for the old receivers, it will only bind if you go to FS2A and then you change this to what you're on. PWMI bus is what this is, what I'm using on this and what I'm using on the Nirvana. You need to make sure you've selected them and it will bind straight away. So remember, don't use the F, the fly sky multi one that's in here because it probably it, well, it, it probably won't work for modern stuff anyway that's something else i forgot to mention earlier so that has been the only thing that i had to work out what to do on everything else has been fine battery life i'll be honest with you i've got 3000 milliamp hour batteries in here and it probably does well this is on i think i've had i've had 12 flights since i charged the batteries and it's probably halfway down 12, 4, 5 minute flight, so it's probably not the best on battery time. You could maybe do with the other batteries. I just have another couple of spares that I keep in the case for this. So, I don't know what else to say about it. I'll give you an update, if any, I'll give you another update in another month's time, and I will give you an update sooner if, I, if this develops a fault or we get an issue with it. But so far, it's absolutely faultless. The only thing I don't like is the screen. This one that kept this screen protected the camera, it's absolute garbage, it just bubbles out, bubbles straight, it won't keep bubbles out and you can't really see it that well. So I'd recommend if you can get one of them, get one. But apart from that, fantastic. Have a fantastic day, thanks very much.